say hello to Tata Motors shiny new flagship, the Hexa. On the face of it, it has a lot going for it. But what's the Hexa all about? Well, we are going to find out in this edition of Car Deco's Quick Review. The Hexa is based on Tata's impact design philosophy. There's plenty of impressive details that include smoked out projector headlamps, daytime running lamps, 19 inch alloy wheels and LED tail lamps. Well, this might be the Aria somewhere underneath but it has been designed head to toe and it looks fresh. The cabin has been thoroughly revamped as well. The Hexa is available as a 6 or a 7 seater. There's a huge list of features. There's the Beneke Caleco leather feel upholstery, automatic climate control, there's a 10 speaker JBL sound system, a 5 inch Connect Next touchscreen, and some more. Of course, there's plenty of space for you and your luggage. You get enough headroom and legroom across all three rows, but you might just find the front seat slightly narrow if you're built big. Boot space with the three rows up is 129 liters, but when you flip them down, you get 671 liters. But our one grouse on the inside is that the fit and finish could have been a notch better. There is the familiar 2.2 liter diesel engine powering the Hexa, but it comes in two states of tune. There's the base 140 PS version. And then there is the 156 PS version with 400 Newton meters of torque and that's the one we drove. This is available with a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. The manual first, it's easy to drive but it isn't punchy. The clutch bites in suddenly and the gears aren't sure slotting and it takes some getting used to. The engine is reasonably quiet unless you rev it hard and it feels quite refined as well. Then there are the super drive modes. Auto, Comfort, Dynamic and Rough Road. These can be switched on the fly using the rotary knob placed ahead of the gear lever. Well, the automatic, it's our pick of the lot. Shifts are reasonably quick and there's a sports mode that lets you keep the motor on its toes. What impressed us hugely is the ride quality. It demolishes potholes and doesn't let the cabin get upset easily. And we think the Hexa is a great choice for the chauffeur driven, especially in its six-seater Avtar. But there are two key aspects that feel slightly underwhelming. One, the steering. It feels vague while tracking straight. And the second is the brake pedal. It keeps you guessing. But it does handle rather well for something that weighs over two tons. And there's enough safety tech to keep you safe. Tata will launch the Hexa in January 2017 and prices are expected to be in the vicinity of its arch rival, the Mahindra XUV500. The promising package needs to be backed up with competitive pricing and we are guessing it should fall between the 12 to 18 lakh rupee range. <laughs> 